All right, today is about solar wax melters. Uh, I'm going to show you two. This is the first, the very basic one. It's just a box. That's all it is. And in the box, underneath the plexiglass, is a plastic bucket. Okay. Plastic bucket. There's some uh, door screen mesh on it. You put your your comb or whatever on it, and it drips through underneath to the pla into the plastic bucket, which you, at that point, have uh, uh, melted wax uh, that reforms into a nice little circular uh, brick. The other solar wax melter is a real one. This one is constructed from a fence plank on the side, a bunch of fence planks nailed underneath it. It's got a leg and it's got a lid. The lid is not hinged. It's just a piece of glass on a on top. Uh, this one gets much hotter than the uh, simple one. Uh, right now you can see uh, the temperature inside is pegged out over a hundred and about a hundred and thirty, hundred and forty. Uh, here I've got a brood comb that I cut out yesterday and it's uh, melting down into uh, a plastic um, pretty much a, a, a small piece of Tupperware down there that's black that's just uh, absorbing all the the wax, uh, catching all the wax. It's going to create a nice little brick. Anyway, this one was a lot more tough to make. I'm not a woodworker. Uh, getting the glass into the lid was the biggest problem. If I had to do this all over again, I would definitely use um, plexiglass. Uh, you'll also notice there's, there's cardboard in there, which I use as an insulative layer, and uh, it just simply uh, keeps the heat inside. Uh, there is a crack in the glass down here when I was finishing the project. I'm just going to put packing tape over that and not worry about it. Uh, the function of this is to really just to melt the wax. That's all. And that's it.